That's how you actually shoot a T-shirt ad. So first and foremost, yeah, the viewing angle has been changed. So I was just waiting for the light stand. So just a few days back, I went to get the light stand from Sahar and the extra light. So it was just a few days back before the lockdown started. That's when we got paid from our last project. And uh, me and my teammate, Shodip, we decided to go and gift ourselves something. So after that, we bought this similar type of watch from G-Shop. It's a uh, G... I forgot the name actually. Um, yeah, it's something G sells something. Really, nigga? So stop motion. So as we know, stop motion is one of the oldest technique of filmmaking. That videos are composed of frames, like frame rates. In one second of video or in a five seconds of video, there are thousands and thousands of frame rates, which actually make it into one seamless video. Kind of similar as of time lapse. So all you have to do is click photo, frame by frame and then you have to just move to animate the stuff. As you can see the video, I've used most of the parts as stop motion, like the first one and a few other. But really influenced uh, with uh, two things, like which has really helped me out doing this video. First is of course, Daniel Skipper's Donuts video. I've seen that video and I really liked it. So I wanted to try like something similar to it. So that's why I have tried this stop motion and I'm shooting in an A7 Mark III as you know. So I don't have a macro lens. So the tight shots which you just saw in the video, I have actually used the technique by Peter McNeil. Everyone's favorite, yeah. So I've used Peter McNeil's technique of actually turning the lens opposite so that you can use it as a macro lens. So I've just used that. For the lighting setup, I've got really inspired from Indie Mover. So he shows how to light up for a product videography actually. So all of the video which I just stated to you, all of the links will be down in the description below. Don't forget to check them out. And yeah, let's go into the post-production now. So coming into the post-production, you can see you need to obviously import the files. And after that, uh, as you can see the first scene of out here, the rotating, the watch, these are actually photos all graded them together so they are all compiled in one stop motion clip and since i wanted a kind of like a dual screen type of effect so i have just these two layers actually i have cropped this was actually a really long photo but then i have just cropped it out and uh, it looks something like this i'll just turn off on there so this is what it looks like so i wanted them to go simultaneously together in the same speed so i just copied them together and that's it and in the middle i wanted the logo not to hide the cut but actually to emphasize on the logo and obviously the watch is spinning around so uh, if you can see uh, that's how it looks so for the second scene as well i've done the same thing this all are stop motions i don't remember how many frames it was but i think pretty much there are all, all of the photos out here and there were a lot of photos that was taken out here as you can see like uh, if you just see those moving around like I don't remember how much photos I was taking that day so these are all kind of like the stop motion frames which I have out here so if you can see one one frame it actually moves so this what actually went down so all of the frames I have put together and I made it into one stop motion clip and then to spice it up a bit I use a bit of rewind which turns them back and then this shot as you can see first let's see this real quick and then this shot uh, this comes with this lighting so this lighting I've just used a cheap LED stick which I had with me shout out to Sour for the stick because it's his not mine it costs somewhere around 200 rupees I think 200 or maybe 100 you can get it so it was kind of like a really cheap one but then for that stick as well, we just used a kind of like a colored paper on top of it to get that red lighting. So it was like a, a, acting like a gel to it and then it gave us that red shine on it. So for the, for this micro shot, we have, for, so for this micro shot, we have used the Peter McKinnon's technique of, you know, rotating the lens backwards. And then I've taken this shot since I don't have any kind of macro lens and the second as well. So the lighting is just that the light hovers above the 
so for the lighting it just hovers above the watch so you can see something like this and then G-Shock as well you can see something hovering in the sideways this is from front to uh, top to bottom and this is side to side and then let me just play to the and, yeah, and then for the next one so as you can see these are basically photos so this one was a photo so I wanted to spice it up a little bit and since I was play, playing with the stop motion so I just played with the frame here are frames and then I just elevated the frame inside like making it like as if the photo is going backwards so just to spice it up a little bit I have used the logos as well so it goes with the beat since the beat comes out yeah, as you can see the beat is coming and then it goes. these all are photos these all are photos compared together so let me play it real quick so for this one this is a very interesting shot actually so the hot tools which i have they're also transparent color and i really liked it so i thought of using them together for the watch ad so for this ad i wanted the background to be constantly moving like kind of like a gif so i wanted to make it similar to that so the cars you can see that they are moving actually and they keep on moving because i knew that there was going to be another frame which is going to come in between like a cutout so I wanted them to keep on moving. So as you can see the frame with the cutout, it looks something like this. The watches are moving and the frame is moving as well. So the next frame. For this frame I have used, these all are the photos which I have not used before. So they are pretty similar photos but with different lighting like red, green, blue. And then you have the macro shots which I will use the red macro shots. There are repetition as well, but then I have just jumbled it up according to the beat because the beat was something which was very fast out here. So I have jumbled it up, something like that. And this shot, I have again used a similar shot which I have used before, but then to spice it up, I have taken the cl uh, clips from here and I have added them up to give this effect. As you can see, that it looks like they are coming in the screen, but they are not really in the screen. It looks like it's being played on the front and the back portion is different, something different. So yeah, after that, the final reveal to the product, the cars, we show. So that was it. And also not to forget, sound design. Sound design one of the most aspect things. So I have different sound layers out here as you can see. You can pretty much hear it without the sound, sound without the main song as well. Let's hear it without the main song. Now, this was the video with the sound design only. Now, let's play it with the main song and the sound design added. So as you can see, there's a whole lot of difference. I won't be going in depth in this video about sound design because I have something coming up soon for you guys. But definitely, this is one way to enhance your videos and your visuals together. So sound is something which people actually overlook a lot, but then they just don't know that people will compromise a bit of bad visuals, but then they will never compromise hearing a bad sound or something like that in the video playing it's like instant turn off so finally we are done with the editing of the stop motion video which i just showed you right now and i hope you guys really enjoyed it so this is the first time me and my team tried to shoot a commercial ad especially sitting at home we don't have anything to do right now due to the covid 19 thing around so we decided so let's just shoot this so yeah i have tried to infuse the stop motion idea in the commercial video and my friend shodeep he has tried to do it in a different way i'll definitely link his video down in the description just go and check it out so that was it for today's video and i hope you guys really enjoyed it if you guys really enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also share this video subscribe to my channel if you're new here in this channel i talk all about filmmaking tips tricks and also about my art that will be bringing so keep subscribing new videos every tuesday and yeah it's your boy tau dog signing off until next time peace Thank you.